All right. I don't know where to start. Scattered all over the fucking place. A friend of mine, he walked into my place, my room. He was like, Gail, you just have shit everywhere. Just everywhere. I was just like, I don't know. Everything makes sense to me. And he goes, Gail, I went to get a, a drink, a glass from the kitchen cupboard. Your pants are folded up in the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> He's looking at me like I'm cra crazy. I'm about to tell him. I was like, look, you see that, that iron board over there? That iron board does not open all the way in my bedroom. It only opens up in my kitchen. And I don't like to do more work than I have to. So I don't want to run back and forth, get my pants and my clothes. I might as well just keep all my pants folded up in the kitchen. He goes, well, if that's the case, then why are your socks in the, sil the silverware tray? Well, it doesn't make sense to bring some of my clothes. I might as well, might as well bring, bring, bring them all. So anyways, he goes in my room and he's like, looks around and he's like, He's like, Yale, everything has its place. I don't know where those fucking places are. I missed that day in school. He goes, look at the left side of your room. You have a small book and a big book on top. And then I have my little belt loop. My belt loop, it coils in, I put everything in it. Pencils, lipstick, chewing gum. <laughs> now the right side of my bed, now that's a horse of a different color. <laughs> I don't have six, I don't have seven, I have eight bottles of sperm cycle lube, lube, lubrication, all different shapes. Sometimes I put the, the big ones in the back and the small ones up front. This week I've been organizing my, bo my bottles of lube to look like Manhattan. So I recently ordered a King Kong puppet on Amazon. You'll find that grappling the top of the biggest bottle of lube. Folks, that is going to be your Empire State Building. From there, you've worked your way down town. So I guess the point of the story is, I have a lot of free time. And I have not been getting laid. But when I do get laid, it's going to be from that bottle loop with that King Kong on it. And you better believe I'm going to... Till the cows come, come home. All right. You know, I did a set about a month ago. And this woman comes up and she's like... It seems so effortless. What, I was like, are you taking notes? She's like, yeah, are you studying to be a stand-up comic? <laughs> you gotta study to be an asshole on stage? Get the fuck out of here. Okay, good, write this down. I have, I don't watch stand-up, I have zero ambition to be a stand-up comic, and I fucking hate everyone. Why would I put effort into something that I have no ambition to be? I believe I made her cry. I didn't mean to. It just, you know, it just uh, happens. All right. Hold on. I just got blocked. Um, anyways, I still go back to the first time I just, uh, I, I, I was on stage. I did a talent show in summer camp, and I was really bony back then, so my um, shoulder blades stick out like this. So I did the half, half boy, half girl show. Needless to say, the show ended with me literally fucking myself on stage. They rushed me off real quick. So I'm going to start at the, at the top. Growing up, I had a bad stutter. As you see, I still do. So I remember I went to dinner, a uh, seafood place, and you know I got the shrimp. I told the waitress, I was like, can you please bring, can you bring some cock, 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 tail sauce. She goes, it's on the table. Oh, you little whore. You made me go through 20 cocks just to tell me it's already on the fucking table. Now, I've been on the flip side of that too. I'm a waiter also. So customers, they pay me so they can finish my sentences. It's great. Right. One of the tough ones, marinara is a tough one. So I'm going through all, all the, these specials, clams, fish, marinara I get stuck on so I say mussels in a red sauce my boss goes yeah it's not a red sauce marinara sauce you can't say red sauce that's not what it is all right so here I am in Boca table of six going through all the specials we have fish we have lobster and we have mussels meh mussels meh 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 oh come on people we're all Jews here just finish my sentence all right 
I know you want to finish my sentence. You know you want to finish my, my sentence. I'm giving you the unspoken okay. You can finish my sentence. The keys are in the ignition. I just need a little push, all right? Because the last thing I want to do is stand in front of you people going, ma, 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 like a farm animal. <laughs> And the best one is, though, I can't say, you're welcome. I can't. Everyone says, I did something nice. It's like, thank you. I said, thank you. I said, thank you. <laughs> Take a bow. When in doubt. But the best, though, really, the best, though, is my name, Yale. I can't say my fucking name. <laughs> Can you imagine that? College, my freshman year, I'm going around, this girl, she comes up, up to me, I'm Jackie, what's yours? My name is, e e my name is, e e John, my name is John, shit, I just told her my name is John, oh, she's going to think I'm a compulsive liar, I'm not going to have any friends. Oh. You know, and growing up, I had a lot of insecure, you know, insecure and everything, and I ran into this girl in school, and she said, if you're feeling down, go in your parents' closet and take the blue pills. The, the blue pills? All right. So I did. Uh, I was 15 years old. I go into my stepdad's closet. I took three blue pills. So now I'm at school. I'm waiting to, to feel good. And all of a sudden, I'm in Spanish class, and... <laughs> I don't know, I, my blood pressure was way up and I had an erection the size of Florida. I mean, that shit would not go down either. Like, and they, I get call, called up, so I grab my notebook, my biggest one. So I'm walking in the uh, bathroom, 15 years old, I never see my dick this hard. who says he hasn't tried to suck his own dick is full of shit. All right, the only reason I was a gymnast for seven years, every year I got a little bit closer. <laughs> now, as a result, I do have a pinched nerve. So I go to a ph physician, every new one. I was like, can you take care of this pinched nerve? Well, what happened? Doctor, you do not want to know. I've heard it all. Okay, I tried sucking my own dick. Oh my God, don't do that. How close? <laughs> it's pretty damn close, but don't do that again. The next thing you want is your mother walking in your bedroom, find you butt naked, heels over your head, neck snap, balls in your mouth, all right? <laughs> Not pretty. All right. Um, does everyone, does anyone here do uh, drugs or happen? I guess you could say I have a drug issue. Now, I wasn't that bad. I really wasn't. Like, I may steal your dope, but I will totally help you look for it. All right? I'll go all night long. So, like, anyways, I made a choice. Yeah, I guess I'm going to get clean. So they had this thing called meetings, AA meetings. So everyone says, you just need to sit in these meetings. Things will go good. I go to meetings, and I find, out, I find myself doing math. And, um, you know, I read somewhere that one in 10 are gay, so I would go to an all men's meeting, about 70 guys, and I would spend an hour trying to figure out which one of the seven guys is going to drive me home. Who's going to drive you home tonight? <laughs> so anyways, actually, I want to go back to the pill. From the first time I took a drug, the Viagra, it didn't work out. So I went into my mom's closet, right? and I took her painkillers instead. And back then I was really big into a movies and film. So I, you know, I was like, I'm gonna make a home movie here. So I grabbed her lipstick, grabbed the camera. All of a sudden, pills, they started working. Ooh. You fuck me. I fuck me. I fuck me so hard. My mom comes walking in, mom. <laughs> it's not what it looks like. She goes, is that lipstick? Is that my lipstick? That's not a toy, that is Chanel. You get your own fucking lipstick. <laughs> so needless to say, I put that tape aside and uh, I was, and then I filmed my dad's wedding. My dad got remarried for the third time. I was like, I'm gonna film it. 
beautiful wedding and everything, and we decided to, to watch it. So I'm in the living room, my stepmother, my sisters, and my stepbrother. We're all watching it, it's all great, breaking the glass and everything, and all of a sudden you see me front row and center. Mm. Uh, no. You fuck me? I fuck me. I fuck me so hard. My stepmother looks at my dad, that's my new son? Oh shit, what the hell did I get into? I guess we're on, since we're on the topic of uh, step step parents, my stepdad came in my life when I was about seven years old. And all I gotta say is, I never thought my mother would marry a man who wore more jewelry than she did. With that said, we're talking about a lot, a lot of bling here. I mean, if it was acceptable for New Jersey Jews to wear gold teeth, he'd be wearing motherfucking gold teeth, all right? He'd be going in the temple. Yo, rabbi, rabbi. Check out the grill. Randy, 25 carat, very nice. <laughs> so anyways, my life sort of led me going to a, I guess, jail. Who's been to a jail? Jail's a very in, like, interesting place. I walk in there and, you know, it was just different. You know, I come in, this guy, man, get your motherfucking hand off your hip. Oh my God, was my hand off my hip so fast. <laughs> He goes, well, stand up straight and quit walking around like you fucking Gumby or some shit. <laughs> okay, okay. But you know what? I kind of like jail. I sort of put a new chip on my shoulder. So when I used to go to be a club, I was really shy. Now, I'm confident. Hey, cutie pie, what's some of this convict in you? I got that Ivy League dick right here. Damn, let me find out you can dance. You know, I did that act one time, and so it's like, that's sexist, racist, misogynist, so I go bitch in there, but in jail, that's your fucking problem. <laughs> I can't stand it when somebody talks about shit that they don't know about. Now, if I haven't revealed, I, I am gay. And uh, I remember I told my mom when I was like 15, I don't know, something about Jews, I guess. I go, yeah, I'm, I think I'm gay. She goes, no, 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 I need grandkids. Honey, you're just into new things. Into new things, taking an art class and such a dick are not quite the same things. <laughs> now the best was my grandfather. He goes, Yeah, JJ Jones, come here. He's like Clint Eastwood walks in. Whoa. Step into my office. When Grandpa JJ says step into his office, you step into his motherfucking office. He goes, Yale, I need to sit you down right now. You're my favorite grandson. Mashugana, but my favorite. But the Torah says the anus is a dirty, dirty hole.